Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to do a character analysis on a somewhat overlooked Wings of Fire character, Six Claws. I just finished reading Deserter and I really enjoyed every moment we got with this loyal sandling. This video does contain spoilers for Deserter and The Brightest Night, so please keep that in mind. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Six Claws grew up in the Sanding Stronghold and always wanted to be the best dragon he could be, despite his polydactrinism that gave him an extra claw on each foot. He noticed that whenever he told a dragon his name, they would look down at his talons to see if he really did have Six Claws, which felt very demeaning at times. Even though Six Claws looked different from the other Sandwings, he was incredibly loyal and showed his worth in Queen Oasis' army. One of Six Claws' defining traits actually is his loyalty, because no matter who his queen is, he always supports her. Six Claws was devastated when Oasis was killed, and he felt kind of forced to side with Burn because he knew that Oasis favored her over her sisters. After all, the one thing he wanted was to serve his queen, and if Oasis wanted Burn, then he would too. Or so he thought, at least. Burn turned out to be a terrible ruler over the Sandwings that sided with her, and even though Six Claws was her best general, she mistreated him. Burn creepily made remarks about his claws, even holding them close to her and instructing the other soldiers to cut off his hands when he died so she could put them in her weirdling tower. And yet, despite this, Six Claws felt like he had to serve her due to his loyalty to Queen Oasis and her legacy. Burn made him feel even more like an outcast and further injured Dune when all he asked for was for her to consider doing a different plan for the war that involved less killing. Every dragon wanted the war to end, except for Burn. She liked the idea of dragon suffering and found it fun to watch it all happen and even participate in some of the battles. Six Claws became more weary of her leadership and other Sandwings like Kindle eventually agreed. Though Deathbringer muttered in the shadows for Six Claws to switch sides, I feel like it was coming anyways, but Deathbringer's comment really helped Six Claws finally decide that it was time to abandon the war altogether. Six Claws was loved amongst the members of the troops he commanded, and dragons often looked up to him. His fierce loyalty and bravery helped him climb to the top no matter who he was serving. When Six Claws finally met Thorn in the Scorpion Den, he realized that he had found the right dragon to follow. Someone with an actual moral compass. Six Claws and Dune had a great relationship, and it's definitely one I'd love to see more of in the future. The two were incredibly close, and they enjoyed each other's company before and during the war. I can't even imagine how Six Claws felt when Dune took Thorn's egg and left him there in the Scorpion Den. Because of his extreme loyalty and love to serve, Thorn trusts him as one of her advisors, and it really shows how admirable Six Claws is. Thankfully for him, he finally has a ruler that he can trust and someone he can feel fine with falling due to Thorn's empathetic personality and her true wisdom. I absolutely love Six Claws. He has genuinely become such a cool Wings of Fire character, especially in the winglets. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.